Thank you for joining me today. My name is Akutsuko, and we're going to be doing a Twilight quiz today. Now, I did this uh, a, quite a while back, uh, but I never posted the video for it. I meant to, and I just never edited it. So I'm going to try kind of redoing it again. It's not the same quiz. Um, I'm, I'm basically just doing something to, to try and see how much knowledge I've retained. Uh, I think originally when I did this video, I meant to do it um, because I had read Life and Death and Midnight Sun was coming out. So I, I had adored uh, Life and Death so much. Um, it was it was really, really cool because I've always loved alternative universe things from from really any type of medium, be that like a show or, you know, stories or any kind of stuff like that. Alternative universes are just kind of my fucking jam. So life and death was really really cool for me because just to see the the swap of things just because of a gender swap was was really really fascinating and it, it changed the story up a little bit um it didn't really like provide a whole lot of different context but it was still really really cool i, I like the way that it kind of ended up going but regardless of that i decided that i'm gonna try and test my knowledge of uh how much i managed to retain for twilight so here we go I might do a couple quizzes in this, depending on how long this one is, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and, and get into it. So, how many adopted kids do Carlisle and Esme have? Technically, technically they have four, but would that count Bella? Because they have, they have uh, Jasper, Alice, or no, they have five. Oh my god, I completely forgot about, I forgot about the main character, Edward. They have Jasper, Alice, Alice, sorry, Alice. I was going to say Emmett, but I ended up saying Alice. Alice, Emmett, Rosalie, and um, the fucking Edward. So, five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, woo! Yeah, anyways, I already knew that. Why do they have to use such a fucking... I... <laughs> Everyone from this cast fucking hated that they were in this movie. I'm almost 100% sure of it. Uh, in which class does Bella sit next to Edward on the first day of school? It was, uh, fuck, was it biology? I'm pretty sure it was biology. Yes! Aha! Me good and brain! Beautiful. She probably hated it too, to be honest with you. Uh, how are the colons different from most other vampires? <laughs> They're much taller. They're just super fucking tall. It just bit bleh. Uh, they're vegetarians. Uh, they can go into the sun without people noticing. No, as we've already known that. They sleep. They're vegetarians. Uh, they drink animal blood instead of human blood, which... Vegetarians, whatever. What frustrates Edward about Ella... Or Bella? Fuck, man. I'm terrible with this. What frustrates Edward about Bella? Uh, he can't read her mind. Uh, she acts like she's the best. Yes. She's... 100% super snooty. Can't read her mind. Yeah. Uh, 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 I didn't know what you're thinking. Uh, what do vampires really need in order to play baseball? Uh, did it aluminum bats because you don't want them to reassemble wooden stakes or resemble wooden stakes. God, so stupid. Rubber baseballs, old timey uniforms. Well, yeah. No. Thunder, because otherwise it's too fucking loud. Uh, where did Bella have to hide out from James in Twilight? Uh, she went to Phoenix. And that was, uh, that's where she's from. It was Phoenix. This is like the first frame of the fucking movie. But, I, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, what part of Bella is bitten by James? Uh, the fucking leg. Oh no, it was a wrist?! I thought it was her- Oh, he broke her leg. He broke her leg and then bit her wrist. That's right. Well, shame on me. Uh, just shame on me. Edward plays what song for Bella on the piano? I don't know. Bella's Lullaby? Yeah, it was. It was Bella's Lullaby. Okay, cool. <laughs> he plays Let Me Sign by Robert Pattinson. How old is Edward supposed to be in the book? Isn't he supposed to be 17? Yeah, 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 he's supposed to be 17. But he's really 117. No, I, I don't actually know his real age. 
Uh, in New Moon, what type of situation... Oh, we're going to go through the whole series. This might be long enough for this video. In New Moon, what type of... Uh, what type situation... What type situation... Come on, BuzzFeed. What the fuck? In New Moon, what type situation prompts Bella to hear Edward's voice in her head? Uh, dangerous, adrenaline-filled escapades. Hey, look at Jacob in the back. Hi, Taylor Lautner. Who does Jacob imprint on? Uh, technically, Renesmee, even though he thinks that he imprinted on Bella. He imprinted on Edward in many fan fictions. Yeah, it was Renesmee. Oh, I totally forgot that's what she looks like. That's a fucking creepy-ass picture. All right. Uh, which Cullen member doesn't vote for Bella to become a vampire? Uh, uh, strangely enough, Emmett. Or no. It was Rosalie because she had a hard time with it. Yeah, she hated the fact that Bella wanted to become a vampire because she was forced into it. Uh, which animal is in... Well, all of them are kind of sort of forced into it. Uh, which animal is in the Cullen family crest? The bear? Damn it, it was a lion. Suck off. Who knows that? What happens when Jacob tries to kiss Bella in the in Eclipse? Dude, she punches him and she breaks her fucking fist. <laughs> huh? 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 If you guys have ever seen the fucking uh, uh, bad lip readings video, it's so good. Feel your huh? Need, dude. Huh? <laughs> huh? What is a newborn vampire? Uh, a person that's been a vampire for less than a year. <laughs> a person that's got vampire parents. I person who just started believing in fa Come on, BuzzFeed, what the fuck? A person who's been a yeah. That fledglings. Who surprises Bella by showing up at her wedding? Um, her identical twin. Twin sister. <laughs> uh, fuck, who does, was it her? Who the fuck shows it? I don't think it was her mom. Although her mom's fucking... Look at this text. It's definitely not her mom. I would say Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacob shows up. Aw. You better bring that hand up a little bit higher. If you don't want it bitten off. Why does Edward finally turn Bella into a vampire? She tricked him. She threatens to divorce him if he doesn't. She bugged him so much that he gave in. Uh, he does it to save her life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. Does she? Fuck, I can't remember what happens. Oh, he does it to save her life because she was giving birth to Renezme and she almost died. That's right. Oh my god. What special power does Renezme have? Uh, she has the power to do the shit. Um, fuck. <sighs> to levitate objects with her mind? She has... Does she have... Damn it! Uh, I'm, I'm a Twilight expert, at least. I... Oh, damn, that sucks. What was it? She can place thoughts into other people's mind. Oh, that's super weird, because Bella also has a power towards the end of uh, the series. Which is, um, fucking, what was it? She can, like, create, like, a fucking force field or some shit. And she does that towards, like, the end battle with all the other vampires and shit. When the big vampire thing goes on. So, god, I don't, I didn't know that, uh, I knew Renesmee had a power. I just couldn't remember what the fuck it was. Um, but I got 15 out of 18. He scored better than 46%. Although there's probably not a whole lot of people who were uh, taking this quiz. So, you know. What is that picture, BuzzFeed? Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay. Let me, let me, uh, let me do one more. Uh, 9, 10 on this. Uh, click on the lie. Bella cooked dinner for Charlie almost every night. Bella fainted at the sight of blood. Uh, Bella used ample shampoo. It was this one. No, what? Oh, it was strawberry? Wow. Who fucking cares? Okay, click on the light. This is gonna put me way back. I will no longer be a Twilight expert. Uh, Edward's middle name was Andrew. <laughs> Edward Andrew. I don't know his actual name. Edward went on a murderous rampage for a while in Targeted Villain. No, he did that. Uh, Edward composed a piano. Okay, so it's this one. 
uh, Edward Anthony Mason Jr. Once Carlisle turned him, Edward took the left. Oh, it's Mason. Wow, that's weird. Look at his fucking hairy chest. Dude, Robert Pattinson is hot as shit. Uh, click on the lie. Carlisle voted against... Tur no, he wanted that. Uh, he lived with the Volturi. Yep, he did do that. Carlisle had a slight English accent. He did kind of have a slight... Because he's from Britain, originally. His father, like, threw him in the gutter. Or he escaped to the gutter because his father was trying to kill him. Uh, this is a lie. Yeah, he wanted her to do it. And he wanted to be the one to do it. Well, he didn't want to, but he he asked. He, he was like, do you want to do it? Uh, click on the lie. Uh, Rosalie wanted to be Bella's maid of honor. I think that's the lie. As human, Rosalie was attacked. Yep, that was true. Uh, Rosalie met Emmett. Yes, uh, it was this one. She did not. Uh, Rosalie shared her traumatic reasoning. Click on the file. Yeah, because Rosalie went all full mama uh, for Bella and like protected her like a motherfucker throughout like the last part of the book because even though Bella wasn't a vampire, Edward was trying to save her but wouldn't like Rosalie wouldn't let him near her really because something about this is very spoilery as well obviously but you it's it's been out for whatever so fuck it um so when Bella was about to die Rosalie just wanted the kid that's all she wanted she cared about the kid she didn't give a shit about Bella that was fucky to me um Jacob ratted on Bella for writing no that's not true Jacob made the first move on Bella that's not yeah that's true uh, uh, Jacob had two older sisters. He did do that. It was this one. Fuck! Bella made the first move? She flirted with him. So is anyone who I fit? I, 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 why? Because she flirted? Shut up, BuzzFeed. Big bitch. As a human, Jasper fought. He did do that. Jasper became closer to Bella at her 18th birthday party. No, he tried to kill her. Uh, Jasper was covered with scars from vampire bites. Yeah, that was true. Yeah, uh, when Bella got a pay- Look at this fucking face, dude. What a fucking screen grab. Uh, Jasper was overcome by bloodlust and tried to attack her. He was the newest, uh, yeah, he was the newest Colin. Um, Alice stole the Ferrari when, uh, she and Bella were in Italy. Yeah. As human, Alice was set- That's true. Uh, Alice dropped a vase when she had a vision of the Volturi coming. I did- I felt fucking- minute, 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 That one? Fuck, it was- Oh, it was a Porsche night. Who fucking remembers these little ass details? Uh, Renesme broke Bella's ribs during the pregnancy. She did do that. Uh, Renesme had a faster heartbeat than normal. I don't. Did she have a heartbeat at all? Renesme reads minds like her father. That's a lie. We knew that from the last one. Unlike her father, who reads people's minds, Renesme offered uh, her own thoughts and emotions to others as long as she was touching them. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, because she was the, oh, stop the war because this is what happens. It was such a shit twist ending. That was so shitty. Um, Robert Pattinson saying, yes, he did do that. Uh, Kristen Stewart suggested Iron and Wine for, I don't know. Stephanie Myers suggested Kings of Leon for the, maybe it was this one. Fuck. Stephanie Myers suggested Muse for the, oh, yeah, and she did get it as well. Yeah, they did They did end up doing a, a song for that. Uh, Bella always wanted a cat. I don't know. Bella murdered, or muttered. <laughs> Bella murdered Edward in his sleep. Uh, Wuthering Heights was Bella's favorite book. No, I don't think so. I think it was this one. Yeah, who the fuck? In Eclipse, Jacob leaned against Bella in war form, wolf form. She revealed she always wanted a dog, but her mother, Renee, was unfortunately allergic. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Wow, I suck. You've read the books, but you're not an over-the-top fan. I mean, I'm I'm really not. Uh, you're definitely a fan of the Twilight Saga, but you're not completely obsessed with vampires and wolves anymore. I wouldn't say... Twilight's not the only fucking vampire and wolf thing. I love vampires and werewolves, dude. But Twilight is not the fucking pinnacle of fucking vampires and wolves. Fucking BuzzFeed bullshit. Six out of ten. Cool. Whatever. Fucking, you're not obsessed with it. Go fuck yourself. I mean, I'm not really that obsessed with it, but I still enjoy it a lot. I don't think I was ever really obsessed with it in the first place, even when the movies were out. Because, like, 
I read the books uh, as the movies were coming out. And before I would watch the movie, I would read one of the books. So watching the movies afterwards, I would always be like, oh, okay, yeah, this is kind of cool that they adapted this this way. I didn't really like how the movies did a lot of things, but I mean, it was still done pretty decently. I mean, they're not obviously not the best movies, nor are they the best books, but I mean, for a fucking teen heartthrob novel of sorts that has slight characteristics of horror kind of in it, I wouldn't say like horror horror, but more angsty over the top dramatic shit too. I mean, it was still pretty good. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. I'm a sick and tired of Twilight, so uh, no more, please. Thanks. Uh, if you guys want to check these out, I'll leave the link for the BuzzFeed shit down in the description below. If you really want to test your metal with this, um, let me know what score you got down in the comments. And if you liked it, go ahead and give the video a like. Otherwise, I will see you in the next piece. Peace out.